Imagine it, Revit Utilities, MEP, Space Copy. With Space Copy, we can copy the rooms from a link model into our current model, which creates spaces. We can copy spaces between phases. If I copy spaces from a room, from a link model, we'll select the document we wish to copy the information from the room to a space. What phase? Spaces and rooms are phase aware. So which phase are we copying from and to? What level? Do we want to do all the levels? Do we want to just do the ground floor level? And then tagging. Do we want these spaces tagged? as they're being copied into this current project. In this current project, there are no spaces associated to the new construction phase. So by selecting OK, the application goes through and creates spaces. Now in some areas, there may be already spaces and they're duplicating the object. So this is saying that spaces are being copied on top of themselves. So what we'll do, we'll delete the extra spaces. This is just stating that whenever you delete a space or room from a model, the information about the space or room is still part of the project, but the physical space has been removed. So we see how many rooms were evaluated, how many spaces were created from the rooms, and how many spaces already exist in the current model of this particular floor plan. We also notice the room name and room numbering. So by going up to MEP space update, we can simply update the room name and room number from the linked model. Next, we'll select the room name and room number in the phase we wish to grab this from. Update the information. So notice the names of the rooms. And when we update, we receive a message that 29 spaces were updated. As we can see, the space names and space numbers have changed to match the room name and room number of the architectural link. Thank you.